All right, let's go. How to kite as a ranger, dark and darker. So for context on this clip, I'm using the recurve bow, the complete standard one you get when you spawn, and I'm using absolutely no clothes here. So, and in terms of our abilities, what we're taking, we're taking the multi shot, which is the three after each other, and the scatter shot, which is the five shot. So in a case like this, we're up against a fighter by the looks of things. Right now he's used his ability, so if we can, get a shot off. If not, we run away by putting our uh, weapon away and get that speed. So in a case like this, this room has got full of aggro because we came here a little bit late. He was trying to clear it. And that's good for us because his class is going to take him a long time to open doors. And those mobs are probably going to get a lot of hit on him. So keep him here. He's not able to leave. We take the high ground if we can. If not, we drop down. And now this is a bit of a sticky situation in any case and as soon as someone's got the high ground and they can drop on you quite easily let's get a shot ready and see what's going on hit him one time use that uh, scatter shot get real close five in the head typically we want to use that in a case where someone is in you know hugging distance to you in terms of our multi shot we want to use that as well when they're in maybe a confined place it's hard for them to dodge it ideally we'd get quite close because there is a fall off on the bow Right here, we're okay to get up and close because he's a lot heavier than us and he's just used his ability where he can speed up a little bit. Keeping good distance here, he can't do too much and we're just going to keep doing the exact same thing, kiting around him, taking the upper ground. Here's another clip, same example, some mistakes that we can identify as well. We're using the survival bow in this case, absolutely no gear as well for speed. So we've hit him about four or five times now. Bit of a mistake using that um, that scatter shot there. We probably should use that in a, in a bad case uh, when he's up real close so we can hit all of them. He's chasing us down here. I should have put my weapon away sooner so I can get more of a distance to him. And we're just going to keep doing the same thing, running him back and forth through these uh, alleyways. As a barb, we just want to make sure we keep that distance. And with the speed, uh, we can do that quite easily. So we've looped him here. Now I'm blocked him by a zombie. Got to jump around. Luckily, he misses that shot. Now I've got Mage Aggro. Mage Aggro is probably going to kill me, so let's try and get out of here as soon as possible. He's got the same idea. Now we can get around him here, turn around, multi-shot, because there's not much place for him to go. And he's just given up. Which is all you got to do. Use that scatter shot right at the end. Probably didn't need to do that, but got the job done. 